I'm going to kind of wrap it here because we've been going for a while. Even after I cut this, it's still going to be pretty long for the errors. So what would my grade be on this overall? I think that a couple of things. The fact that I was able to get this far and, eat, and I had to pay $25 to get in, but let's look at it this way. If I had to code myself, this myself, it would have taken me longer. So it's it's already saved me time and money. The ability for a non-technical person to kind of be successful, I think is a lot harder. Like, I don't know how well a non-technical person would have been able to navigate those issues that I found and know how to, I don't know. All I did was copy and paste the errors. Maybe they, maybe they would have been successful, but it's not as straightforward as I would have thought it would have been. The other thing is disappointed that it was generating code that it knew wasn't going to work on device. Probably should not be doing that at all. The positives, the database integration smooth as hell. Way, way, way better than it was for than it was before. The integration of the ability to access the tables, view the logs, you know, all of this stuff directly into Superbase, amazing. Didn't get into this. Can I do server functions here? Yeah. Didn't get into that this time around. Maybe if enough people like this, we'll extend it. I'll try some of the other database and user management functionality that's available. But overall, I give this a thumbs up. I highly recommend this. I think it's pretty impressive what they've accomplished here. I do think at some point you hit a technical wall where it probably is going to require a little bit of a better understanding of what's going on under the covers to be 100% successful, but you can still get extremely far using this tool. Kudos to Bolt.new. V2, I think, is definitely a step up from the original one. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Later.